Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. If you're new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Yes, this is not my normal setup. I'm normally sitting there at my desk. Um, got a new desk. It was damaged, so the second iteration of the new desk will arrive in a couple days on November 1st. Fingers crossed, it's not damaged. In the meantime, lighting's not great. Audio through the webcam, we'll have to make do. Welcome to my living room. This is the bar, that's the kitchen. Yeah, you can't see the cards on the table, but I'll hold them up, don't worry. I hope you're cruising into the end of October. Whew. It, it, like, with some peace because it happened so fast. I feel like September was so long and drawn out and then October just was like the blip on a radar screen. Maybe it's because I endured two hurricanes <laughs> in one month. Um, so for me, it was like it all went by warp speed. And I have a massive major presidential election Please vote if you're in the United States of America. It isn't funny. You gotta vote. Okay, um, that is my public service announcement. I'm pulling from Starry Beginnings Oracle for you here, Pisces, uh, or whoever you are watching. Let's see, to kick off this reading, we got card 18, shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Who knows better than Pisces, yes. Shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. What a beautiful message to close out this series of readings. And while I'm mentioning closing out this series of readings, this is the last series of readings where I'm going to go in my normal order. So there's this little video. It should pop up here right now. It says, watch this video um, that I made that will explain why the order is going to change because it's going to change starting November 1st new desk, new order. I made a video. I took the time to do that to explain for you, not to explain for me because I know it. So watch the video. It'll tell you why. Okay. Um, also keep in mind, this is a general reading, not a private reading. So it's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings though. There's always a link below. Each video that will take you to the booking page, you do have to scroll a little bit. I know people don't like to do that, but it's there. Um, so scroll, see what happens. Um, yeah, I think those are my announcements. So let me go ahead. I'm doing this split soulmate spread. Sometimes the energies come through reversed, meaning I could be talking directly to a cross watcher. So while I'm saying you, 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 you know, speaking to Pisces, it could be you, 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 the cross watcher for a Pisces, just so you know. There we go. Whoop. That's two times I have dropped cards. <sighs> Overall energy for the reading is the Page of Wands. So maybe some positive message coming in, some kind of strike of the match, a little spark being lit. Uh, your person showing up in the reading focused on creative solutions to a problem, working something out. There's a challenge here, though. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Um, the Four of Pentacles, to me, in this particular spot, is talking about uh, maybe they're holding back. A little guarded, just a little bit. And the opportunity for them going forward. I know I said the lighting's crappy. I didn't lie. Uh, Knight of Pentacles going forward is, well, you don't have to do it all in a day, right? Take it one step at a time. The Knight of Pentacles, Knights make offers. So if this person is focused on creative solutions to a problem and something that needs to be worked through, it could just take some time. So that if they're feeling a little guarded or if they're pulling back a little bit, um, then the opportunity is for them to begin with the end in mind, right? So that they have a vision for where they, what they want it to look like uh, on the other side. And so that they cross their T's, they dot their I's. This is somebody 
who's pretty deliberate and intentional. Let's just say it that way. Um, so I feel like this may this may be something new. This may be um, some kind of uh, I don't know. I'm feeling something happening here. <laughs> and you're like, Laura, nope. <laughs> and the challenge, okay. Well, if it's going to be new, it's got to be brand new <laughs> and totally changed. And I need a reconciliation. And so they better come in a very changed individual. All right. And your opportunity is to walk on the sunny side of life here, Pisces, or whoever you are watching. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the chuckle. I needed it. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Uh, and you're like, nope. <laughs> Shine love on fear. Shine love on the darker sides, on the shadow side. Shine love, Pisces. Shine love. Love will light up the darkness, right? Love will light up the shadow. Love will bring some peace to a situation that can be worked through. Put your heads together. Work through it. Drop, drop, oh, drop the guardedness. Begin with the end in mind. Look at it through a positive lens. Whew. Let's clarify, shall we? Right. Yes. See? I know what of I speak. Because there's a king of cups here who has not really given up. There's some kind of spark. That's what I'm thinking. It's like they're getting a second wind. Whoever this is, they love you deeply. Um, they may not say it. They may not have shown it yet. But it's there. It's there. It's deep. Right? It's real and it's deep. Um, and this six of wands is not far from their mind. In fact, it's residing within them or it's something playing out behind the scenes that you can't see. So for those of you who are brand new to the channel, first, welcome, happy to have you here. But when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, um, which I do throughout the reading and I will do it again in the extended for those of you who want to dive deeper, um, I'm trying to show you what you can't see because it's either in unconscious awareness for you or your person or it's playing out behind the scenes again it's something you can't see so right here is your struggle this is your struggle position and it's about a reconciliation a meeting in the middle a something that might require compromise negotiation where we forge a win-win outcome hello and this person hasn't given up on that that nine of wands, look at them. Ah, I guess it's exhausting. It's a real struggle, but there's optimism here because there's love here. The love is here. Shining love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Yep. And they know, they know there's this opportunity where the two of you can get beyond whatever it is, right? Whatever the struggle or the challenge is, pardon me. Um, yeah, you, you got to focus on it. The Eight of Pentacles talks about focusing on the details, right? It, it takes effort, energy, focus, determined effort to move past something so you can get some freaking peace of mind and a calmer waters and i am kind of liking this queen of swords because they know that you're not taking any nonsense you're straight shooter like queen of swords truth seeker truth teller don't give me no bs and there is conflict there is a problem 
whatever it is for you it's a reading for the general reading for the collective it's not a private reading so it's going to be a different conflict for each one of you but you know sometimes at five of wands it's inner conflict sometimes it's an outside source of conflict whatever it is you know it can be people it can be a problem it can be distance it could be you know a whole lot of things but it's there and this person, whoever they are, they're coming into this reading wanting to solve for X. This is X. They're wanting to kind of figure out. <laughs> that makes me <coughs> laugh because I came into another reading earlier in the series and I was doing math then too. And I said, come for the tarot, stay for the mathematics. And I feel like I just solve for X. It's the truth, though. There's a problem. We don't know. I don't know what it is. You know what it is. This person wants to solve it. Move forward. But they know that you are a highly discerning in individual that's going to have questions along the way. And so they kind of have to be tight with regard to their approach. Uh, so they're they're coming in that way now their struggle here is four of pentacles I don't know if it's their four of pentacles or your four of pentacles <laughs> a page of wands flipped okay so it's like I feel it's your four of pentacles, meaning you're the one closed off. You're the one with the, with the guarded energy. That's their challenge is dealing, breaking through your sort of highly linear, um, I'm not going to say, I mean, the queen of swords is just like, no muss, no fuss. Let's, like, just the facts, ma'am. Right, and I'm getting that also from this Four of Pentacles. Like, I reserve the right to judge you here and to kind of hold my cards right up here, right? And and so, you know, like, don't don't flash me with your pretty smile and all your flowery stuff, because the World card is about closing out a difficult cycle so a new cycle can begin. Right? We can't have the new beginning. We, we can have the new beginning, but through some other beginning's end, right? We have to have a closure here of a cycle. There's a song in there somewhere, correct? And underneath is the high priestess. And since it's coming from the bottom of the deck, it's what we can't see is that there may be something that's unspoken. She's kind of full of secrecy away that key so there's something that's unspoken here um, that is like an added feature to the dilemma for this person knight of pentacles in the um, opportunity is like don't rush this Right? Let it let it take the time it, it needs to take. Begin with the end in mind because we want to get to a good place here. We want to get some wish fulfillment in the end. That's what this person's opportunity is, is to manifest some wish fulfillment. Um, when they reach their destination, it should feel, they should have some, emo some sense of emotional self-satisfaction. It should feel good. Like they should go like, yeah, I, I, I did that. I did that, I focused on it, I had a plan. <laughs> uh, I made it past the gates of hell here, right? Uh, I didn't let this person's walls that they erected a mile high defeat me uh there were secret chambers i made it through <laughs> i made it through 
Yeah, they're good. They're, they're, their opportunity is to not be taken off course. So they can have their feel good moment and, and some wish fulfillment themselves. Um, <laughs> Cause you are not making it easy for them. And very likely very likely for fully legitimate reasons. So, so let me make sure I'm, I make that clear. Like, I don't, I don't think this is a big issue for you for shits and giggles. I think there's probably, you know, a legit reason. So let's look at your side, shall we? As the sun moves, I have to adjust the exposure just a tad. Okay. So you're coming in with the, yeah, something's got to change. Because I'm making a big decision here and it's either going to change or it's going to end. Mm-hmm. And underneath is the Three of Cups. And I'm feeling the Three of Cups in this particular reading, my loves, as reconciliation. Because we have the Six of Wands twice. So reconciliation, a cause for celebration. Like, I want to come through this with some joy. I want to come through this with a yay. Um, so it is a crossroads moment for you. Um, and the death card is about growth, change, and transformation. It's Scorpio energy and eighth house themes. Um, we're in Scorpio season, so it's completely appropriate that it's very relevant to now. And the three of cups underneath is just like, oh, well, are we gonna, you know, we're we gonna have something worth celebrating here. <clears throat> And because it's in your challenge position, the Six of Wands, which is about compromise, meeting in the middle, forging a win-win outcome, um, and reconciliation. This is a victory card. It makes sense to me that you would need to see some change. Ooh. And now we have a king and queen of cups, so I like that, because in the opening sequence, with the six of wands underneath, we had the king of cups, and now from the top of the deck, we had the six of wands, and then the underneath, we have the queen of cups. So there is love here. Um, but I'm feeling like for you, You want this person to, to take the time to give a lot of deep thought to the path forward. Where are we headed in this connection? Where do you, where do you see us going? Um, right? Like you're, sometimes a four of swords is just a healing card. Yeah. But to me, it's about deep reflection. Um, taking it somewhere deep, quieting all the noise. And here you are, queen of cups, like, I want to stay open to this at the level of heart. Um, but the queen of cups and her reversed energy can be kind of needy. She can be a little needy and it feels like you're trying to keep it tamped down. You're trying, you're trying, but it's hard because you don't know where things are headed. And that's maybe what you need to see change. Maybe that's why we're at this crossroads and you really want this joyful moment of like, yeah, uh, we know what path we're walking in. We're <clears throat> going in the same direction and wow, we did that. We kind of came to the same place, same time. <clears throat> we know what we want. We're headed in the same direction. We're 
wanting the same things. I'm not seeing the Three of Pentacles, but I am feeling that energy in this reading, that, that sense of co-creation, cooperation, being on the same page at the same time. I'm not seeing it, but it feels like that's part of the underlying message here. <clears throat> so your opportunity going forward is the sun, the star, queen of pentacles, uh, seven of cups, right? Um, Seven of Cups is talking to you here from the bottom of the deck is about all the options and how it can be overwhelming on an emotional level. And, and so I'm, I'm putting that aside for a minute because the opportunity is to kind of stay grounded here um, through your trust that the universe has your back, right? Focus on the dream, focus on... Um, the path forward and stay in your sense of consciousness here. The sun is our conscious awareness. The sun is about feeling safe and protected in our vulnerability. And the star is the hope um, that goes along with that. The queen of pentacles is self-care, is about, you know, what is going to make you feel solid here in 3D and do that, focus on that because there are, is a lot of uncertainty in any relationship. And so there are a lot of options that may present themselves as this navigates its way forward. And you're dealing with somebody who's going to be really slow moving and very methodical. But they want something good too. They do. And they're manifesting the F out of that. So, okay, it's going to take some time. And so to stabilize all this energy, focus on what you need to feel grounded and then have a whole lot of trust. That the happiness you seek is yours. And shine love on fear. Line, love will light up the darkness. That is your, I, I, I keep coming back to this because the opportunity for you, if you want to see the Seven of Cups as fear, maybe okay. I don't see it as fear, but I see confusion as disorienting. And I see confusion um, as emotionally overwhelming. And sometimes people respond to that with a fear response, right? So that is what I have for you, Pisces, or whoever you are. And um, if this is speaking to you, resonating deeply, I am going to take it to the extended. And we are going to look at this whole situation from this King of Cups point of view. And so what we want to know is, what's their perception of you? How do they see you in this moment? Um, what are their feelings for you? Their intentions? Um, what do they get from you? Good, bad, or indifferent, right? What are they receiving off of your energy? Um, their physical chemistry fulfillment level with you, even if they're at distance from you, that's still a thing. And um, where do they see this connection headed? And that information, it's energy, but it will help you. It gives you a leg up. It gives you an edge, something to work with, to, maybe just to bind your damn anxiety sometimes, but it gives you an edge uh, so that as you're um, navigating this connection, you have something in your hip pocket to draw from um, to help you. That's what I'm here for. So the links to the extended that are below, option one is a renewal. It's a monthly automatic renewal for Pisces. You get all the extendeds I've ever done, this one and all that ever will be, and there are a couple extras that you get as well. Please read it. Uh, option number two is this one extended, one and done, that's it. And option three is always is the all access pass to everything. Every sign, every reading, every extended that I do, okay? And um, if you have not yet done so, and you like the reading, 
please do subscribe below. That is our energetic exchange. I appreciate you so for doing that. All right, here we go. Page of Wands comes out twice. That is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Our King of Cups here is Scorpio, Queen of Swords, Libra. Uh, the world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Um, High Priestess is... Um, the moon, and the moon rules Cap uh, Cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. Magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. The death card comes out twice here is Scorpio. And Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The sun is the sun, rules Leo. The star is Aquarian energy. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. That's what I have for you. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.